we visit the Cape Cod Ark in East Falmouth and talk to our new friend Earl next. Capecast. With a relentless Cape Cod winter kind of getting us down, there was only one thing to do. Make a beeline for the Cape Cod Ark, where lemons and flowers grow in a Shangri-La ecosystem. It's all about sustainability, and it kind of sustains your soul just going in there. Earl, we've heard of this place referred to as the Cape Cod Ark. Is that name something that you use? Do people use? What's that all about? Um, that's the, uh, the common name of the building. And uh, technically, it's got a bio shelter, a greenhouse that grows uh, plants and animals and fish and insects all in the same place. It's an ecosystem inside a greenhouse. But we call it the Cape Cod Ark because if you had um, these greenhouses uh, in your society and they could produce food without fuel uh, year round, uh, it would be like a way to preserve your community over time and over troubled times. This greenhouse has been here since the 1970s. It was built as a research greenhouse then to see if you could grow food in the winter on the Cape uh, without fuel. And in fact, you can. And we have this greenhouse now attached to our house and we grow food for ourselves and we study what can be grown uh, ecologically on the Cape in the winter. What have you found as far as growing things in the winter? What kind of things can you grow uh, on the winter on Cape Cod? We can grow uh, outdoor green vegetables inside all winter. We can grow lemons on lemon trees in the winter. We, they take, we take them out in the summer. They spend the summer outside. We have all kinds of uh, herbs, cooking herbs. We have ginger. Uh, we have um, all the standard cooking herbs. And we eat fresh things all winter. Well, it must be satisfying that 40 years ago, uh, folks had this idea you got to feel kind of proud to sort of be in on the ground floor of this. Well, I wish other people would get on the stick and uh, pick it up because uh, climate change is coming very fast and it's going to be a very serious problem uh, for food production in the whole world. And the food that used to come to the Cape by train and by truck and by plane uh, it won't come as easily as it used to. And people are going to have to look more towards local food than remote food. Mm -hmm.